Big night for Otis and Asuka as they are Mr. and Ms. Money in the Bank 2020. What's up everyone? My name is Rain and this is WWE What If. In this episode, we're going to talk about the results and my reaction to this year's Money in the Bank pay-per-view. But before everything else, I'm going to ask you guys to please hit that like button for me. It's not going to cost you anything. It's free, but it's going to help me out a lot. Thank you so much in advance. Now, I'm going to do a quick recap of the other matches since I want to focus more on the 2020 Money in the Bank ladder match. So, let's start off with the SmackDown Tag Team Championship match. It's a fatal four-way match between The New Day versus The Lucha House Party versus Miz and Morrison versus The Forgotten Sons. The New Day ended up retaining their tag team goal. However, I am giving five gold stars to the Lucha House Party because they always bring their A+++++++ plus 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 game every time they're on a tag team match. I do hope that the Lucha House Party would finally, somehow, someday, win the tag team gold. On to Bobby Lashley versus R-Truth. It was a squash match, but hey, the good news Lana wasn't there. Yay! Bailey versus Tamina for the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, Bailey ended up retaining her SmackDown Women's title. I honestly wasn't surprised because I couldn't see how Tamina would win it. Storyline wise, I don't know how it would fit. However, I did like that moment wherein Tamina almost won the match, but thanks to the assist of the real MVP, Sasha Banks. Bailey somehow <laughs> pulled off a one, two, three on Tamina and retaining her SmackDown Women's Championship. Braun Strowman versus Bray Wyatt for the Universal Championship. This also surprised me because I thought that Braun Strowman would actually lose to Bray Wyatt. Braun Strowman dominated the match in the beginning and at some point Bray Wyatt ended up getting control of the match and then towards the end there was this moment of, of Braun Strowman putting on his old black sheep mask and there was this some sort of a Wyatt family reunion going on but then it was just a way for Braun Strowman to trick Bray Wyatt because he ended up taking the mask off and stomping on it. And then he ended up pinning Bray Wyatt. So honestly, I'm happy for Braun Strowman because I thought this was going to be another short title run for him, but maybe WWE thought of something different for him since we don't know when Roman Reigns is actually going to come back. The WWE Championship match between Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins. Now, aside from the Money in the Bank ladder match, I was really looking forward to this one because this, this was the battle of two destinies. We're talking about the Monday Night Messiah and his destiny of saving Drew McIntyre for, from his destiny of being a WWE Champion because Seth Rollins thinks that Drew McIntyre was not really ready to be a leader. But hey, Drew McIntyre proved to Seth Rollins tonight that he deserves to be the leader of Monday Night Raw and to have that WWE title with him. I love how the match was long, but it wasn't boring at all. I love how the, the back and forth between the two brought out the strengths of, of, of these wrestlers. And honestly, my favorite part the final sequence of this match. The headbutt from Drew McIntyre, followed by a super kick from Seth Rollins, followed by the Claymore kick for a one, two, three, Drew McIntyre ends up getting the victory. And towards the end, before Drew McIntyre left the ring, he actually offered his hand and shook Seth Rollins' hand as a sign of sport, sportsmanship. So I thought that was actually nice because Drew McIntyre was trying to 
was trying to show us, and, and also Seth Rollins, that he, he is a good leader. He's actually capable of being the WWE Champion. Now, the main event, the 2020 Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's talk about the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match first. Um, my favorite part was probably when Asuka won, because many of you guys know that I am actually a big Asuka fan. If you guys haven't checked out my Asuka promos, please do so. I'm gonna have the uh, link up there so you guys can check them out. But I was shocked that Asuka ended up winning, but I'm actually excited for her because now that her and Kairi Sane are not really going for the tag team uh, championships, I think Asuka can now focus again on getting another championship. And her having the money in the bank contract, that gives her an advantage. I did love her, I did love her um, strategy, wherein she actually took the elevator right away, right when the match started. And Lacey Evans, Nia Jax, uh, Dana Brooke, Carmella, and Shayna Baszler pretty much just battled throughout the building. And here comes Asuka just trying to avoid all these women. Uh, towards the end, it was just down between Nia Jax, Lacey Evans, and Asuka at the rooftop, wherein Asuka was the female who actually climbed up that ladder and ended up retrieving that briefcase. Although, here comes King Corbin, who also tried to climb the ladder the same time Asuka was there and was telling Asuka, no, no, no. Like, dude, there were two briefcases up there. So I was kind of confused about that because <laughs> Asuka wasn't really trying to get King Corbin's briefcase, but whatever. I'm glad that Asuka actually won, even though she wasn't a part of my pick in my predictions video. For the men's Money in the Bank ladder match, this was also shocking for me because I thought Aleister Black would win this one. However, Otis ended up winning the money, the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. And this was really interesting because we had AJ Styles and King Corbin on the ladder, right? And they're trying to fight each other so one of them could actually retrieve the briefcase. And then Elias from out of nowhere comes up and hits King Corbin with his guitar. Corbin falls down and then AJ Styles fumbles the briefcase into the waiting arms of Otis. See what love can do to someone. Wow. <laughs> Otis is Mr. Money in the Bank. And to quote him, Yo, Mandy, I did it. Oh, yeah. Congratulations to Otis and Asuka as well. Now, what do you guys think? Post your comments down below. And if you haven't yet, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to my videos. And follow me on Instagram as well at WWE What If or on Twitter at WWE underscore What If. You guys, thank you so much for joining me this Money in the Bank season. Until next time, TTY, Jabronis.